Ultimate Confetti's Mini Confetti Blower is compact and portable, making it perfect either for more intimate locations or for fitting in tighter spaces on or next to stages. However, don't let the size deceive you. The Mini Blower can add the excitement and colorful burst you're looking for at your next event. Warning, firing the blower with a loose hose connection creates a potential risk for injury. Ensure that all connections are secured before turning blower on. Never point the blower directly at any person or any breakable objects when firing. Place blower at desired firing position. Unlock the row case and remove the lid. Unpack the contents of the row case. This will include one cryo hose, one rod, and one cryo washer. Dump bulk confetti bricks into the case. The mini confetti blower will hold a maximum of three pounds of confetti at one time. Do not fluff or stir the confetti once in the unit. Set the firing angle by securing the comb plate to the case using the rod to hold it in one of three firing angles. Seal the leather Velcro flap to the top of the comb plate. Attach the cryo hose to the cone quick connect valve. Ensure that the hose is secure and will not become unattached. After the hose is secure, place a cryo washer in the other end of the hose and attach it to a CO2 tank. Tighten with a wrench. Make sure that the cone lever is in the closed position. Levers should be perpendicular to the hose and valve. Now it is time to check for leaks. Slowly open the CO2 tank. If there is a leak between the cryo hose and the CO2 tank, you will hear hissing from gas escaping. If your hose was not secured to the cone valve, it will become unattached as soon as gas is put through the hose. In case of either of these situations, immediately turn off CO2 tank and either tighten connection with the wrench or reattach the hose. Once there are no leaks, fully open CO2 tank. The confetti blower is now ready for operation. As soon as you open the cone valve, the blower will fire. The mini confetti blower launches confetti at approximately half a pound per second. Confetti will usually be fully exhausted within six seconds. An operator is required to control the flow of CO2 gas and to add additional confetti for multiple shots. Cone valve must be closed to reload unit with confetti. When you are finished firing, simply close the cone valve and turn off the CO2 tank. Bleed the remaining gas from the hose by reopening the cone valve and letting the excess gas escape. Close the valve once gas has exited the hose. Disconnect the hose from the cone and the CO2 tank. Disassemble the unit and return the contents to their original positions within the case.